and welcome to weekly vlog number 58. The day this is going live is Easter Sunday, so if you celebrate, happy Easter. I hope you're enjoying Easter, even though this year I know it's just a bit weird not being able to get up and go to church and spend time with family on this holiday, so that's kind of interesting. But I'm actually getting ready to Zoom, which is like a group Skype or group FaceTime with my family, my side of the family, so um, as far as I understand, like my grandparents are going to be on there and my sister and her family and us and um, my aunt and her family. I think there's going to be quite a few of us on there. We did this last week as well and it was really nice, especially for my grandparents because they live in an old person's home and it's on full, complete lockdown right now and I think both of them are just really getting sad that they're not able to see any of us, um, especially the people that are in town, you know. so. That's what we're up to. Riley's got Nor Nor. Um, I think, are you trying to put her down? Maybe trying to put her down. Um, but we're gonna hop on Zoom here in just a second. I just kind of tidied up this den back here because we've been spending all of our time back here. Um, especially because the weather's not been nice. It's been really um, chilly and rainy. So unfortunately, we haven't been able to be outside as much as we would have liked to be. But I'm gonna hop on Zoom with my family for a little while and I'll check in with you guys later. Welcome to my week. I drop it and then he wants her to go up wherever and leave this. Hi, Blair. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. There's Henry. That's what people really want to see. Hi, Henry. How do I do that? All right, I just packaged up Etsy orders for a little while, and now we are going to attempt. This is the bread maker. If you're new here, we are obsessed with this thing. If you're not new here, you've seen it 8,000 times. Um, today we are making, we're going to try to make baguettes, so this is a dough only setting. I'll link this bread maker below. Um, so it's just making the dough, you can see it says dough, and then once it's done it will come out and we'll roll it and we'll try to make baguettes. That will be the first time, but we got nothing but time right now. Um, I am going to go ahead and get the oven going because we're going to bake potatoes and have steak and potatoes and broccoli. And these baguettes, unfortunately, won't be ready for a while, so we'll probably have them later, maybe tomorrow or something. But we thought we would give it a shot, so that's what we're up to. And Riley dressed Nora, and she looks so cute. <laughs> Nora, hey sis, <laughs> are you in this beautiful little dress? You know what, I think Joanne sent us this dress. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so cute. Thank you, Joanne, if you're watching. <gasps> yeah, do you love it? Yeah, and Charlie Bear's right here, and he's just chilling as well, having a lazy Sunday at home. We decided not to eat dinner for a couple more hours, but we're both pretty hungry now, so we're going to go ahead and I made like a little cheese board. So there's a couple different kinds of cheese. These are these sweet potato crackers from um, Trader Joe's, and then obviously apple. We don't have any other meat besides pepperoni, some pistachios, strawberries, hummus, and carrots. So. We're gonna munch on this for a little while and then maybe in a couple of hours we're gonna start dinner. All right, we just finished dinner. Riley made steak and we did some baked potatoes and some steamed broccoli with Old Bay on it. Yummy little Sunday night meal. So we're gonna sit down and eat it and the baguette will be done in a couple of hours and we'll try it then. Dinner was absolutely delicious and we opened up our windows because it's about 63 degrees outside just to get some fresh air. But I just wanted to revisit this, which I did in my last weekly vlog. Um, I pulled out outfits last week for every day of the week, including undergarments, just to see if it would make a difference in getting up and getting moving in the morning. And it really did. It allowed me to get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, and put on fresh clothes before I even left my bedroom, which was just, it felt like such a massive win as a new mom <laughs> to have that all done so that I could just start my day. So I did it again this week. And just like last week, this isn't necessarily Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's like whatever order, but just five casual comfy outfits for being, you know, at home and whatnot. So I wonder if any of y'all have tried that out or I know a lot of people just lay their clothes out the night before, which is equally as helpful. All right, I'm getting ready here to make some banana bread because I ordered bananas in my grocery delivery order and 
they came, they didn't come quite this <laughs> overripe, but pretty much they were already overripened when I got them, so I think I ate one or two, but the rest of them are gonna go into this banana bread recipe. This is the recipe I've definitely shared before. It's my favorite one. It's super simple, but it really is the best banana bread, and you can totally throw in chocolate chips or nuts or whatever else you would like. So I'm gonna get ready and go ahead and make this as soon as these baguettes are finished. So I just finished making the banana bread. I did throw in some chocolate chips. I pretty much use mini chocolate chips for all of my baking. I like them better than the regular sized ones. I don't know, I just feel like it disperses the chocolate more evenly or something. But anyway, that's what I had on hand. So I put um, a handful of those into the batter and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. And I wanted to show you, check out these baguettes. They look pretty good, huh? We're gonna slice one open and see how it tastes. It looks really yummy. Here's the baguette sliced with some butter on it. it. Looks pretty darn good if you ask me. All right, the banana bread is out of the oven. I've been finding a lot of relaxation in baking lately, if you can't tell. So I made that delicious bread and this, and I, both of us are too full. So I'm gonna let this cool off and then put it away and we'll have a slice tomorrow morning for breakfast. Hey guys, good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. It is um, Monday. Nora, you say hello. Yeah, you go smile. You see that beautiful baby? That's you. So, um, what time? I honestly have no idea what time it is. I had to think about what day it is. It's about 2.15 um, p.m. So, we got up this morning and did our normal mo morning routine. And then I bathed Nora and put her down. She took a nice long nap. And during that time I worked on, I stripped our bed and I'm washing our sheets um, and I'm working on like emails and Etsy and my blog a little bit. Um, Etsy is the main thing I was working on during that time. And then she just woke up and I nursed her and let Charlie out and you know, just anyway, it's just been a very normal Monday around these parts. I don't know when Riley's getting home. Typically, he's been working from about 10 to 2, so it's been a shortened day. Um, but, well, yeah, about 10 to 2. Some days it's been like 10 to 3, 10 to 4, so we'll see. I just texted him to ask what his plan was for the day. It's warm but overcast and a bit windy. Actually, it looks quite windy outside. Um, so, I'm sorry, my I'm, I have a few different text conversations going on right now on my laptop sound is on and it's the text messages are coming through so we're gonna try to take a walk a little bit later um if riley's coming home pretty late then nora and i will just head out now or soon and if he's coming home relatively soon then we will we can go as a family that way we can take charlie too which is always the ideal situation so anyway good morning happy monday i had a slice or two of that delicious banana bread for breakfast um i'll leave like i said last night i'll leave that recipe below it's so good and i've been real i always try to do this but especially now i've been super intentional about throwing nothing away so like when we had those giant onions i chopped them up we've already gone through one whole bag of those and we are working on the second bag we eat onions in and just everything everything um and the potatoes we've probably used about a half or three quarters of those i did get a comment i've gotten a few questions about those two different things i don't know how long they would keep i would imagine the onions would keep in the freezer if they were sealed well, at least six months. The potatoes, not so long. P the potatoes don't freeze as well. They kind of oxidize, so they definitely get a little bit brown. But we've just been roasting them. We usually take the potatoes and put them out and put a little, some onions on top, and then we roast them together in the oven. And that's really good. That's great with like an egg on top for breakfast, or if you want that as like a side with dinner, it's almost kind of like home fries, and you could season them. Really, really good. Um, the potatoes I don't think would, I would not keep the potatoes for quite as long. I don't think they would necessarily go bad. They just kind of get weird. So I don't know I'm just learning. But anyway, with the bananas going bad, um, that's why I decided to make the banana bread because otherwise I would just throw them out. And as I said, I'm trying to be really not trying to throw anything out right now because um, of everything that's going on. So anyway, here's Charlie. What? <laughs> He's just standing down here. What are you doing? What are you doing? We had a fire the other night because it was so um, chilly and now it's warm again. The weather at this time of year is always just kind of up and down, back and forth. All right, Nora Bug. 
You're so cute. Okay, we just got Nora loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and take a family walk. Charlie, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah. As you can see, we have been keeping the front of our house just absolutely perfect. Completely organized. You could find anything in a second. We're out taking a nice family walk. It's really nice out. I mean, it's super, super overcast, but the weather's pretty nice. It's warm. We got Nora in here kicking her little feet, happy as a lark. Is it happy as a lark? Yeah. What's clam? Happy as a clam? This is another one. Oh. You're happy as a lark and a clam. Or a barn swallow. <laughs> Charlie's over there. Here's Rye. And we're just walking and enjoying being outside. There's actually a lot of people at the park right now for obvious reasons. Everybody's just trying to get out. This is such a sign of the times. The playground is totally taped off with caution tape so the children can't play on it. But to be honest with you, this playground's been around since Riley was a kid. I played on it. And he played on it and it is janky and I think it needs to be replaced but such is life in a small town. And then over here, if you can see kind of across there by where that white truck is to the left of the truck is a uh, skate park and the same thing. They did the same thing, they, they taped it off. So definitely a sign of the times, huh, Nor Nor? We're still taking our walk. This one fell asleep. So sweet. If you have been following for a long time, at some point, a couple of years ago, at least a couple of years ago, if not like three plus years ago. I was talking about how we found a walking trail and it was like this magical walk walking trail and that's what I'm, we're on right now. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it, there used to be, whoever owned this land used to have horses running on it and they would run up to the fence and it was, when the sun's out, it's really pretty because the sun kind of peeks through all the trees but it's especially pretty right now in the spring, the, the grass and the trees are all bright green and it's all come out, but it's a really nice place to walk. Puts babies to sleep, happy puppies. Husbands happy, wives happy. We're sitting here talking about getting a new car because we need to replace Riley's. That's what we're up to. We just got home from our walk and Emily, Riley's sister, dropped off this bouncer for her that her kids use and she said she bleached it for us but if we wanted to wipe it down again we could but Nora's getting to the age where she's gonna love this Nora's trying out her new bouncer and she's loving life we put a little pillow on the bottom so she could reach are you happy sister you love it and I just got this um, this two-tier tray from Etsy I have been trying to, in, I haven't been buying very much, but everything I've been buying, not everything, things that I've been buying, I've been trying to see if I can get it on Etsy, just to try to support other small, let me mute this. I have like TLC 90 Day Fiance blasting. Um, I've been trying to see if, like I was looking for some home decor items and I thought I need to go to Etsy first because I wanna try to support other small business owners because I know it is obviously um, tough right now. So anyway, it's this really cool handmade, wooden two-tier tray, let's focus on it, and then it has this kind of metal part here at the bottom. There's Nora right in the middle. Um, and then it has like this little hook on the top. So I'm gonna use it as a centerpiece. I need to clear off this table, but I'm gonna use it as a centerpiece here for our um, dining room table. And my plan was to like maybe put like the salt and pepper on it, but then I just was kind of playing around like put like a few like some cute decorative things too so that when it sits in the middle and I was thinking like it would be really cute to redecorate it for um for different seasons so like if it's Valentine's Day or, or Christmas time you could put related like just a few little you know tchotchkes or whatever just to make it look kind of cute and festive without being over the top um, and it's all, it also could totally just be like practical. Like we could just put things on it that would be more practical, but I think it's really pretty and kind of neat. So I will link it below if you want to check it out. They, um, 
the it's I think it's a husband and wife team that makes them and my goodness it came packaged more perfectly than I don't think anything I've ever received it was like so perfectly packaged so love it um, all these this laptop was Riley's and all these stickers are stickers that he made up at work that are his favorite um, I think they're all his favorite band oh, this is a podcast he loves but that's a band that's a band 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 so anyway um, but I use it. It's like my laptop now. He has another one, but he won't let me take the stickers off. Giant eye roll. Um, but I don't really care that much because I just use it around the house, but it's like people think it's his or they think that I'm into all these things. Um, and I'm not really, but you know, it is what it is. So anyway, I wanted to show you this tray. I'll clear off the table and try to give you a shot of it. We can't find napkins anywhere. So, um, we have no napkins. Although we have, you know what we have is, um, like cloth napkins. I'll pull those out. We can use those. I could even fold and put them up in there. That would be great and more sustainable. Look at us. So there you go. Cute little centerpiece tray. Even cuter baby. Even cuter baby. It's about 8 o'clock p.m. now and I just fed Nora and then she fell asleep so Riley's holding her and I'm gonna take a bath I'm so excited I have fresh pajamas out and I have a Twilight bath bomb from Lush which is my very 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 favorite and I haven't taken a bath probably in like two months two and a half months it's been quite a while and it, my back's been kind of achy and I'm just I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, 30 minutes or so to just relax in the tub. So that is what I'm going to do tonight. I <sighs> just got out of my bath and then I washed my face. It felt so nice. It felt so nice. I was in there for about 30 minutes. And I just had my lavender candle going and that delicious bath bun. I came out and put on fresh, clean pajamas. <sighs> it's so nice. I am going to do this face mask. This is... Um, by Pacifica and it's called Stress Rehab and it says coconut and caffeine face mask party then rehab now and coconut green tea and caffeine all skin types especially especially stressed <laughs> so I don't know what that means but it looks it looks nice um, I wanted to chat for a minute while I have a minute let's see what this looks like and how long 10 to 20 minutes um, I wanted to chat for a minute about body image because ever since I have had Nora, it's been such an interesting thing. When I was pregnant, I had the most, I was the most body confident and felt the best in my skin that I ever have in my life. I really, really enjoyed my pregnant body. I felt really good in it. I'm going to wait a second before putting this on because there's no way you'll be able to take me seriously once I do. Um, I felt really, really good in it, and this smells amazing. I'm mm, like a tropical vacation. Anyway, so that was the case when I was pregnant, and then after I had Nora, like many women, not only, it's not only that I've gained weight, because like most women, after you have a baby, you're at a higher weight than you were before you had a baby, so that's definitely, I'm sure, a piece of it, but more than that, my whole body just feels differently. My clothing fits me differently. It's like, it feels like a whole new body and I'm trying to learn how to live in it and how it feels. And like, I don't know if anyone can relate to this. It's a very weird feeling. Like in my life, like most people, I my weight has fluctuated. There have been times where I've gained weight and lost weight and I'm usually pretty, pretty, good like mentally pretty good throughout those fluctuations because it's just a part of life and sometimes you're going through a stressful time and you gain or lose weight and then sometimes you're going through a good time and you get you know it just kind of is what it is um but it's like i'm in a whole different body <laughs> like my clothes just fit differently everything feels different all my sizing is different it just feels really different and i've had to kind of get accustomed to that i think some of that i think some of like my my body that I'm used to that I lived in for all the years before I had a baby some of that will start to come back as time goes on and I get further away from birth and after we're not on like a home lockdown quarantine and we can be out in the world again um but it's just been it's been hard it's just been really hard and it's not like I'm full of self-loathing it's just this um it almost feels 
like uncomfortable in terms of not like knowing like I feel like my body is a stranger to me in some weird way. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It just feels so different. Everything feels different and that's really weird to me. So I'm trying to kind of learn how to make peace with that now so that as time goes on, whatever happens, I can just be like at peace. So I don't know if that sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo and it doesn't make any sense, but if you know what I'm talking about with like having a baby or going through any major life event and then your body just feeling really different and feeling like you're trying to relearn it. I would love to hear your thoughts because it's been a very odd experience. It feels like, see, you're not going to take me seriously. Let me tell you about some serious body image things now. I'm sure you're going to be able to take me dead serious. Oh, it feels so good. Well, I'm glad I didn't put this on while we were talking. Oh, it feels so nice. It feels like going through puberty again. It's like the same kind of feeling where everything's new and you're just like, well, what is going on? Okay, I'm gonna go lay down for 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, this feels so nice. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Hi, <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, this mask felt so good. This was the first mask I've ever used where it felt like cooling the whole time. Oh, it felt so nice. And there's just a little bit of serum left and I'm supposed to just rub it into my face. Um, I feel such a release right now. Like I laid in the bathtub for 30 minutes and then, and I've been watching Louise Pentland's weekly vlog. And um, I laid in the, it's like a really long one. It's like 50, 55 minutes, nearly 54 minutes. Um, so I watched like 30 minute of it, minutes of it in the tub and then 20 minutes of it laying in laying in that chair. Our, I stripped our bed today. The, um, the sheets are in the dryer. So I just ask Riley. We always do it together because it's just so much faster to put it on a king bed together. But anyway, I laid in that chair in the corner and just laid back and just had this face mask on and watched her vlog and it was so wonderful. Oh, my skin actually feels really nice after that. I'm really moisturized and good, we'll see. The last time I did a mask, it was at like a mask by the brand Acure. I did it like last week. I've never done masks, sheet masks literally in my adult life. Um, and I've been doing them lately. Now I'm just putting on some moisturizer. Um, anyway, and the night that I did it, it felt good, but the next morning when I woke up, I felt, it, my skin felt so moisturized, it felt really, really good, so hopefully that's what will happen here. Anyway, just feel such a release from having, you know, all that time to relax in the tub and then relax in that chair and do a face mask and I just have the doors closed and um, I heard Nora wake up and I just hear her cooing, she's not crying, so I'm kind of hiding out a little bit. Love her, love her. But anybody who has a little baby can relate. It's non-stop and sometimes you just need a little, quick little moment to breathe. Um, she's with her daddy and he is so good with her, so it's great. Well, thank you for accompanying me on my little evening oasis to my bathroom and <laughs> bedroom. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday and I'm out walking with my beautiful daughter. It's really warm outside. It's about 80 degrees right now. So I've got shorts on and she's in. I have a little light blanket over her because she's not the one walking but it's very nice outside. Anyway, so we're just taking a little walk to start off our day. And um, I'm hoping that she'll fall asleep on this walk and take a nice little outdoor nap. And I'm just listening to a podcast, so it's it's a relaxing morning. Right? Success. Oh, hey guys. Northy, hi. We just got back from a nice long walk, as you can see by my beet red face and sweat. It was great. We walked for just about three miles. Um, 
Oh, mommy, it's hot. It was, it's hot out there. Yeah. Nora slept almost the whole time, so she got a good little nappy in. And I got to walk and relax and sweat and move my body. So it was all around pretty good. Huh. All right, I'm going to get some water and probably feed her and just cool down a little bit. Whew. It's warm out there. Feels good. All right, it's about six o'clock now. Riley's watching a movie with Nora and I'm getting ready to package up some of my Etsy orders that I have outstanding right now. And um, I have my computer over here for doing shipping labels. And then this is what Riley and I have been referring to as the Passy Patch. <laughs> and this is where we put rogue passies so that when we need one, we can find them. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get to work. And Nor Nor and Riley are over there hanging out. All right, I've been working on this for a couple of hours and I packaged up a whole bunch and then I'm working on getting these all sorted. So this has been, for obvious reasons, the best selling design lately. And it comes in a variety of different colors, more than what's shown here. This is just what we happen to have sewn out for today. Um, but it comes in short sleeves and long sleeves and all kinds of things. So here's, this is called Berry. This one's called Crunchberry. I love this color. And this one's violet. And I need to take photos of these to put them on the website. But if you go to the Homebody Forever listing, which I will leave a link in the description below, um, in the drop down, you can choose any of the short sleeve colors or long sleeve colors, of which there are, I think, 15 or 20 total different colors in short and long sleeve options. And this is the sweatshirt. This is in the dark green. And this is in the charcoal. Um, so anyway, super, super popular right now. I just did a round of orders and like 80% of them were the Homebody Forever. Um, I will throw a coupon code maybe for 20% off for the next, let's say the next week. There's already free shipping. So 20% off any order just because you guys are watching my YouTube video and we will make the, we'll make the code Homebody for 20% off. So that'll be a little sneaky secret sale code for you guys. All right, it's about 10 p.m. and I'm still working on um, packaging some Etsy orders. These are the ones that I have left to package tonight. Um, I created this little cart um, to, well, I had this cart for postpartum and then I have repurposed it for Etsy because I used to do all of my packaging for Etsy back in my office and lately I've been doing more of it out here on the island because then I can use the island. I wipe everything down every time and I can use the island and sometimes I use the kitchen table. I'm not using it today. Um, but it's just nice to have more room to spread out. So we'll have to see. My office is just a little bitty room and so it's nice to have a little extra space out here to spread out. But um, anyway, I'm gonna finish these seven orders and then I will be done for the night. Good morning, guys. I thought it was Thursday, but it's Wednesday today. Nora is in the cute, it's gonna be 90 degrees today. She is in the cutest outfit. Stand up. It's this little bubble, and then on the back, it has a little crisscross and a bow. I got this for my baby shower as a gift. Charlie's over there wondering, can you see him? Charlie, you go outside. All right, I'm gonna get our day going, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, Nora's sleeping on Daddy. Yeah. Look at her little hand. Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Say hey, sweet pea. It's Thursday now. I'm sorry I didn't film much of anything yesterday. There's just so little to film right now, like. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. <laughs> We're just kind of home all the time. Um, I don't know. We didn't do anything yesterday special. I worked on Etsy a lot, which is partially why I didn't have anything else to film because I wasn't working on anything else around the house. I was just packaging orders and ordering for my supplier and answering customer questions and all that sort of things. Um, so that's kind of how my day went yesterday. As soon as Riley got home, that's how I spent the rest of the evening while he hung out with Nor Nor. Um, and then towards the end of the night, we made dinner together and then we all three hung out before it was time for bed. So 
That's right. That's right. I just got an Instacart delivery, which was great. There's always, right now, a lot of substitutions, but I still got enough um, to carry us through another week, and I was able to get some fresh fruit, which is always, you never really know if you're gonna be able to get that or not, so that was good. And um, like some eggs and a couple of different kinds of meat that we can use and freeze. And so we're doing just fine um, as far as that's concerned. I usually love cooking. I'm getting a little bit tired of like no breaks cooking every day. I know some, some of you don't enjoy cooking. So I'm sure right now is super stressful <laughs> because, oh, it's just like, I like do I like cooking generally, but cooking every single night for weeks on end. I, we usually go out every once in a while, or we'll order out, and we're still doing that a little bit, but our town doesn't have a lot anyway, so we usually would drive, and we're just not going to go do that right now. So, anyway, I might go take another walk today. It's uh, much cooler than yesterday, so I feel better, and it's very overcast, so I could put a light blanket over her, and I think she would be just fine. Um, and, yeah. Wish I had something thrilling to tell you. Wish I could be like, surprise, we're go leaving for Disney tonight. We're going to Disney for a week. Come with us. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Zay, hey. We just took a long walk and I brought Charlie Bear with us, didn't I? And we, it was really nice. It was about 75 degrees. Nora napped. It was wonderful. I am listening to Dr. Phil's podcast. He just let out like a new series on Lori Vallow. Um, and it's called A Mother's Secret, The Lori Vallow Story, and I'm on the second, um, second episode in the series. We got our groceries today, and we got more giant onions. These things are not as big as the last time, but still, well, yeah, they're pretty huge. <laughs> I got some kiwi. I love kiwi, and I haven't had it. Um, this isn't, I've put away a lot of stuff, but this is just what I haven't put away yet. I got some chocolate and some jelly beans, because... It's Easter this weekend, and I figured it'd be fun to have a couple of um, little treats and then just a few random things. But I bought these because, <laughs> this is kind of funny, um, this is what my mom always has used. She's always used Gain and um, Downy April Fresh, and so the smell of these two together remind me of being at home. And we should have, if we, this coronavirus wasn't happening, we should have landed in Baltimore yesterday, and we were going to be there for Easter. And it's just like scent has such a memory, you know what I mean? And this scent, the smell of this on my clothes just reminds me of being at home with my family. And so it's just bringing me joy and comfort this week while we stay here because no one can travel anywhere. I'm really sweaty because we just got in from that walk. But um, every time I share anything about laundry detergent, face wash, like basically anything, I always have a bunch of people saying, but I thought you made your own. I thought you did this. I thought you did that. I understand that sometimes what happens is maybe you're watching a video and you watch a video from, let's say, two and a half years ago from my channel or you read a blog post. My blog's like eight years old, so you read a blog post from six years ago. And then you watch this video and you're thinking, well, what happened? You were using this. But you have to understand that time has elapsed and I think some people are... Um, they get super tied to a certain thing, so maybe they use or make the same things for their whole life. That's just not my personality. I really like trying new things, especially in the realm of like that kind of stuff, like household items and beauty kind of stuff. I just really like trying new things. So it's not that I don't like the things that I've mentioned in the past. It's just that I do like trying new things. So um, usually people are just inquisitive. Every once in a while I get people who are really angry about it, which is so confusing to me. Um, extremely confusing to me but if you're the kind of person who becomes super brand loyal or you be, you find something or make something and you stick with it for three four five ten years more power to you it's just not me I, I like to use something for like I've used things for a couple of years and then it's like all right I, I'm gonna try this try something else or I'll use it for a couple of months or a couple of weeks it just depends you know what I mean so there are certain things that I stick with and certain things that I mix up I don't really have a good explanation for why other than sometimes I just like having a little bit of variety in my life. Um, especially now because there is very, very little variety <laughs> in my life right now. All right, I finished packaging, well not finished packaging, I finished sorting and getting ready to package all the Etsy orders for the day and now I'm going to go ahead and put them in packages and get them ready for porch pickup tomorrow. We just took another long walk, which was nice, two in a day, might as well, there's nothing else to do. 
Um, and I pulled this soup out of the freezer yesterday or the day before, and it's mostly thawed, and so it's heating up. When I froze it, it was it's it has some of the soup stuff in it, like actual chunks of carrot or celery and things like that, but it's mostly broth. So I'm gonna beef it up a little bit with um, some veggies. So I chopped up, I used my handy dandy chopper um, that I've talked about a few times. I'll link it again below if you haven't seen it. You just put things in it and chop and it's great. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna saute some onions, carrots, and celery, and then I have some leftover diced sweet potatoes, so I'll add, soften those up and then add that all in. So I'm just heating up a little bit of oil and butter over here, so I'm gonna get those things softened, throw them in here, let them cook for maybe 20 minutes, and then um, we'll have a little bit more substance to our soup. We just finished eating dinner. That soup was delicious. That was a really easy, easy dinner because we already had the broth, um, and we just made like kind of like a vegetable soup. It was really good. I'm gonna make some brownies. I usually like the triple chocolate. We have had the double chocolate before, it's good. The triple chocolate is amazing, but they didn't have it um, and they substituted it with this and I can handle it. So I'm gonna make some of these for us to have as treats for the next couple of days. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm really looking forward to it. All right, brownies are in the oven. I just put the leftover soup into two of these. I think these are each one quart. And they're perfect because they're two bowls of soup. So we can have, you know, I'll put them both in the fridge and one of them we can split for lunch and one of them we can split for dinner or lunch another day or whatever. They keep well in the fridge for about a week. You can see it here at the bottom. Um, there was, I had some spinach in the original soup and there's some chicken that was still in there. But then I added all those other veggies tonight. So really, I mean, I'm gonna let these cool for just a little bit. They're pretty full. <laughs> gonna let them cool for a little bit and then put the lids on and pop them in the fridge for the evening. Well until we need them next. Well, the brownies just came out of the oven and they smell absolutely incredible. In fact, the whole house smells incredible, but I'm not hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna just cover them up and eat them maybe tomorrow. Well, I won't eat the whole thing, most likely, lol. Well, well. um, but I'll have one tomorrow when I am hungry. Maybe tomorrow afternoon. I always love having a cup of coffee and the little treat in the afternoon. Good morning, guys, it's Thursday. Nope, it's Friday. I never know what day it is. It's Friday. Um, I am feeling drained today. I'm just feeling very drained today. Um, we took two long walks yesterday. Nora and I went on one walk with Char Charlie's exhausted <laughs> with Charlie, and then the three, our whole family with Riley went on a walk later that yesterday evening. And um, according to my watch, which tracks my movement, I walked six and a half miles yesterday, which is a lot for me right now in my life. So I'm definitely feeling it. Plus I packaged up dozens of Etsy orders and that's me standing on my feet and that takes some physicality as well. So anyway, I'm just feeling, I'm tired today, but um, in a good way. Like I feel like I was super productive yesterday. Right, Nor Nor? Um, I feel like your arm's just stuck. I feel like your arm's just stuck. So it's Friday, okay, all right. Um, you know, why don't I end the vlog because I don't have anything exciting at all going on today. Um, and that way I can, when she takes a nap today, I can edit this video and it will be ready for Sunday. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Remember that, oh, I didn't even, didn't even plan this. Remember that my um, Etsy shop, you can use the code HOMEBODY for 20% off your entire order. It doesn't have to be the HOMEBODY FOREVER design, any design. Um, and that will run for one week's time. So I'll leave a link to that below. Use code HOMEBODY at checkout and I'm already offering free shipping right now. So you can get a really good deal with 20% off plus free US shipping. Um, and just to leave on a happy note because this vlog will be going up on a on Easter Sunday. It's Good Friday today. On Easter Sunday, um, I'm gonna insert a picture here of a picture I took a couple days ago of Nornor in her little beautiful Easter dress. It's so cute, it's so cute. And we were hoping to be able to spend the day with family and Henry, my nephew, has a matching Easter outfit, but that's not happening. But Easter is such a reminder um, that from death and sadness and grief and darkness comes light and goodness and joy and life and um, 
Jesus's death and resurrection just remind us that this time, which is really hard and heavy, um, I pray will bring about refreshment and new life and new beginnings. Um, even as there's darkness and sadness, you know, so anyway, that is what I'm thinking about this morning and not saying very eloquently because I'm tired, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Say bye-bye. Bye guys. -bye. Bye -bye.